All right. Well, Dad's only just told me about Bob. I message Wendy. It's going to be all right, mate. You think so, yeah? We're closed. Hey? I've got to go to Scotland. Mackenzie knows. Um, Debbie's done her ankle in her. Me and Dad are going up to look after Jack. Ah, oh, let me open up, boss. I need every penny I can from Amelia. No, don't worry. She'll get it. This month's wages are sorted. Hey? Holiday pay, garden leave, call it what you like. Thanks, Ken. Was I talking to you? Right. Suppose we need your knees then. No, you keep them till. Remember what I told you, yeah? And keep your head down. Hey, come on. You're not in court till Thursday, are you? Hey? It's ages yet. Text. Can't say no to Bavi, seeing as Amelia's at college. Well, it's not just me. What's this? Man club. Noah sent up the special signal. Except there really isn't a special signal, it's just a group chat. <laughs> it's my first time too. Fellow man club virgin. I I don't know, Aunt. Not with Bob being in hospital. He's doing fine. Heard it from the women this morning. Yeah. I know, but... What? I keep imagining him hitting the deck, unconscious, like the man I punched. Well, then, maybe that's a good place to start. Hey? Tell us how you feel. If you like. No pressure. Look, well, lads, thanks for this. It's, it's appreciated, but I've taken up enough of your time. Dan, um, Man Club pretty much saved my life. I was hiding in the corridor, fuming at Marlon, and bringing all these people back, when I told him to back off and I didn't need his meddling, but I just listened. And I realised it wasn't just for my benefit. That everybody, and I mean everybody, has stuff going on that we just don't see. It was his funeral yesterday. His name was Lloyd. What are we talking about? Talking about Dan? The man I killed. Okay. You didn't mean to do it. You were protecting your daughter. I hate him. I've hit people, but they didn't die. But he did. Because of me. He had a whole life and a family. I can't get that out of my head. You have to find a way to live with it. T to forgive yourself. Or it'll destroy you. Jimmy's right. Well, I've plenty of time to work it out. 22 hours a day in a cell. You know, not for definite. Not yet. I do. There's another chance in hell that I won't get a custodial sentence. The only question is how long. I've never been inside before. I don't know how I'm going to survive. I'm a dingle. We all do a stretch inside. But I hadn't. You know, I was terrified. That first night, I didn't think I'd cope either. You were on remand for a crime you never committed. You got let out. I'm a dingle. I was bricking it too. Not tough enough to get by. Not clever enough to work the system. Hey, and don't look at me. I escaped prison by the skin of my teeth after all that speeding stuff. But, we're all bad. That's how I got together with Amelia. Yeah. You just gotta try and find that thing that kind of gets you through. Phone calls, visits. Phone calls? I'm with Amelia all the time. I won't care for that baby every day of his life. Being a 16-year-old mum, work and college, takes a lot. Just... 
was just scared. I thought of her doing all that on her own, trying to cope. And then putting a smile on when she comes to visit me, because she knows there's absolutely nothing I can do. Sorry. I'm such a wuss. Damn. You're the opposite of a wuss. This is strong. Brave to let yourself open up. Admit your feelings. Thanks. And there is something you can do. You can send a message to us. Anything you or Amelia need. We'll be there for her. We've got your back. I'm wearing my hands out sanding and you're cutting confetti. I'm making tiny books for your bedtime stories. It's typical of you, focusing on the detail when there's big splinters poking out. Ah, oh, we've got ages to sort it. Think of what money we're saving. If only we could solve Amelia's problems with a bit of old junk. I'm sorry, love. I didn't mean that the way it sounded. Just, how's she going to cope with running the house on her own? You're still fretting about Dan going to prison? Thinking about nothing else. Mandy said she'd give Amelia more hours at the salon. And Noah's offered his trust fund and all. What's left of it? No, Sam, you know, this is down to us. Yeah, and we'll sort it. We always do. What with? We can barely cover our own expenses. Then we'll find a bit more. Her and Esther will be looked after. And I won't do out daft to get it, neither. I know you won't, love. Look, I wasn't suggesting you... You're a good man, Sam. And you're a good woman. Promise me you'll stop worrying. I'll try. 